Yo, what is going on people of the internet? It is your boy Brock Otron and welcome back to another beautiful video. Today we are back on Final Warfare 2. Yes. Surprising. Wow. Right, but basically we're doing a little bit of a different video. It's more of like an explain talking video, I guess you could say. Uh, it's, this today's video is based around Save Garden Warfare 2. Uh, as you know, I'm probably a little bit late to this party. I don't care, I still showed up. Right, what we have is the base game of Garden Warfare 2. Big problems and issues that people want to say is happening. That I understand, uh, but it doesn't affect everyone. Now let me explain. Uh, because most of these people that are complaining are mostly complaining on behalf of the people that play on PC. I understand there's probably, there is problems with probably Xbox and P PS4, 5, whatever you want to call it. I understand that, which is fine. However, all the times that I've been streaming this game, I have not yet fell into this problem. I have the odd problem where it will say, oh, I'll find the best match. I understand that. And you'll, sit, you'll sit there and you can't find a match. It's because not many people are playing it or probably you're not on the right servers. I understand that. Uh, but it's not nothing to like cry about, I guess. I don't know what EA have threatened, but there's a lot of people going around saying that oh, the servers might shut down and all that. But as you can see, I'm on, I'm on Europe servers. I'm on 30 ping. Mine's on 30 ping. <laughs> what I did, as we can see right now, I'm not having a problem. So, I mean, it's good for me, not good for most other people, but I'm on, like I said, I'm on PS5 right now, and it's it's quite good. You can swap region if you like, it's up to you. But a lot of people are playing it on PS4 and PS5. Like I said, I have not run into this problem where I, I have the one off chance where it will sit there and say, find a match, and I understand that. Look, match round straight away, boys. Look, so you know what I'm talking about? Madness. See, that's what I'm saying. I'm not lying to you guys. Look, we're straight in. My point is, these people that are moaning are on PC. Uh, and I can understand why people didn't buy it on PC. People did buy it on PC, which is their choice. Do what you want. But most of the people that are moaning about it is mostly because of the whole aspect of uh, what the hell's going on there. there, you go, there there's one problem. <laughs> it's mostly because the people that have it on P or PS4 or Xbox are not are less likely to spend another 20, 30 quid on a game they've already got. And it's basically starting all over again as well. People are not gonna do that. If they've got the option to buy a game that they've already got, they're not gonna do it. Like, why would they? All right, I suck there, but yes, though. Peaceful protest, which is happening on Reddit. It's one of the guys who's read it. I'll probably find it and link it below. But it's, it's, um, it's happening on a Reddit, mostly. Which is fine, peaceful protest, do what you want. Most of the time, peaceful protests don't work. There is probably some instances where it has, but I'm telling you, peaceful protests, most of people just ignore you and probably work on something else. There needs to be already action taken. I don't exactly know what the action is, but I assure you, peaceful protests, by all means, if they work, if it's working, thank the Lord. But from my experiences, what I know and stuff, it's not a big, it's not nothing big that's going to work. Like I said, hopefully it works. Well, we, we, I can only wait and see. So yeah, and there was, there was, is it Red Gaming? I believe it's Red Gaming. I was watching his video recently saying that EA have responded, uh, which they didn't. <laughs> they didn't respond at all uh, for the peaceful process that happened on what is it, March the third? I'm a few days out, probably ten days out, I think. <laughs> but as far as I'm concerned, what happened didn't work because EA's probably just read it and then not done anything, which is. It is what it is, you know what I mean? Like like it, most people say, I love PvZ as much as the next man. But as the facts do entail, it is a pushing seven year old game. And for saying this one of one of the one of the games is literally Garden Warfare 1. And I'm telling you right now, I made a I made a video privately on that recently. And that game is more booming than you'll ever realise. I'm telling you now. I joined that and there was a full lobby. You tell me how that game's dead. I was on that upon to, was it Team Vanquish? I think maybe that Gardens versus Graveyards. Bro, there was a full game, full games. And I understand there's problems and stuff, but I'm telling you, I'm playing these games on PS4, PS5, and we're no, there's no problem. There is slight issues, but for how old the games are, it's nothing. Look at, like, look at Call of Duty, look at Battlefield. They make games every year, all right? And because they've got a fan base, and because they've got these kind of bonuses, I guess, but they've earned that, which is their, they've earned, it's fine. My point is, we've got people moaning about a game that we all love, but 
we're fighting for a game that's old. I know we love the game and want it to stay on, and I want it to stay on for more than forever. But sadly, that is not going to be the case unless a new one comes out. My biggest, biggest thing that I'd ever want is instead of keeping these games, which we all love anyway, but they're going to keep them. I'm, there's no reason to let them die because we're playing them anyway. So there's no reason to shut the servers off. And they're probably still making money out of them. But my biggest goal would be to make a new game. A new PVZ. And that would be the best thing they could ever do. So, or, I, I know we can't exactly fight for that, but it's better than fight with something that's seven years old. Like I said, look at Call of Duty. Call of Duty make games every year. Tell me that two years down the line, that that two year game is still getting thought about. More that, or still getting updates. Now, there's only the off chance that some of the games are getting updates. And that is the games such as The Legendary Black Ops 3. That's still getting updates. For good reason. It was such a loved game. You don't see Black Ops 4 getting updates. No. Far from it. Battlefield what, 1. Good game. But it's a few years down the line now. It's been left. Uh, and it tends to happen with games. It's not their fault. It's just they created it. They let it go out. And that's what it is. Like, we're, we're fighting for a game that's seven years old. I'd rather fight for something else. I'd rather fight for a new game, not something that's... We're sitting here upset about, oh, we're not getting to a game. It's going to happen, man. I'm surprised they get the servers set up now. I'm happy they are, but I'm saying all these little issues where we need to get this, we need to get this right. I don't know about this. Apparently, someone's been having problems with, a couple of problems with saving the game. I have no idea what the fuck that means. <laughs> like I said, it's not a big issue. I... The biggest issues are for PC. I'm telling you that now for a fact. The biggest issues are on PC. You've got people who's modding the game. What can you do about that, man? The modding the game, they're on PC. They're good. You, you, you think they're going to sit here and worry about a seven-year-old game because of someone modding it? Bro, three years older than that, you've got GTA. And you tell me how, how many years them people have been modding that GTA for how, how long? And Rockstar is one of the biggest organizations that would ever cap off anyone who's modded. You think EA are going to be bothered about people modding Plants vs Zombies? They're not bothered. So, the point is, out of the game, fight for it as much as you want. I will as well. But, don't be surprised if no one's going to do anything. Like, these little issues that like, can't find a game for two seconds. Just find a different game. It's just all, like, like I said, I play PS4 or PS5. Same thing. I have no issues. You tell me now. Look, you, you see my streams. Link in the description below. Uh... We stream, we have many people come in, and we all play it together, there's no issues. We have odd issues where we're like, oh, we can't find a Team Vanquish game, which is rare. But we just find a different game. It's nothing that we sit here and say, oh, the game's going to waste. It's not. It's not, man. The game was created beautifully to the point where not many issues needed to get sorted. But like I said, the biggest issues are on PC, but majority of the people who love the game got the game from Xbox or PS ages ago anyway. So you don't need to worry. If you got PC, then I am sorry for you. And I know also one guy who streams, sorry, who's in my streams that has been talking about it as well as, yeah, it's mostly PC. PC, he's, he's struggling to find games on Garden Warfare 1, 2, I think BFN as well, I'm not too sure. But it's mostly PC. It's because the Baron game on PC, it's already been out for many years. And don't expect people to start spending more money or the PC, the people who've already played PC, I understand, like, and they've never played anything else. I understand that. But for people who's been on Xbox or PS like myself, and then with PC, who's already got the game, and then he like the game comes out on PC, and then like, do oh, I spend another 20, 30 pound or dollars on a game I've already got? No. Why? Why would I? I could just start a new account here. What's the difference? There's no difference apart from probably minor equality upgrades that's it that's all you're looking for so in my advice if you've got pc and you've got gone off to fight for it as much as you want please i i'm i'm saying it with you i'm saying like, let's fight for it but the point is don't be surprised when you don't and my biggest goal would be like i said is instead of save god warfare 2 save the franchise itself because we, like i said we've got a franchise that was really fucking good that they ruined themselves with BFN, I, I, I personally, I will say it again, I say it many times, love BFN, but it has its flaws, it has its weaknesses, but it also has its benefits, which are quite equal to the downgrades. So, 
but a lot of people just didn't like it because I don't know why people just don't like it because they compare it to God Warfare 2 so much. They're like, oh, well, it's not, it's not God Warfare 2. I'm like, it's hence why they called it Battle for Neighborville. But it is what it is. Like I said, I, I'd, my personal goal would be to fight for a whole new game because then it benefits everyone. And the biggest beneficial thing that everyone would be a thing that they implemented in 2019 to most games, which is crossplay. Crossplay would save everyone. I mean, it wouldn't. Crossplay saves many dying games because everyone is on different consoles. Literally, the, the span of different consoles in my head could be 33%. So, in third, third plays on PS4 or 5, a third plays on Xbox, and then a third plays on PC. And when you brought them all together, you'd never have dying sessions because all together. And they should have done that with BFM. They probably would do a lot better if they implemented it into these old games, which is going to be harder, I know, because you got to have to go into the old code, try and implement the new code. It's just, it's a long-winded thing to do. So the best thing was to do, would be to do, is to make a whole new game, implement crossplay, and I, I'll be sure to you now that it would never die. Especially if they made it as, and how much people love the franchise itself, it would never die. I'm telling you this from a fact. Like crossplay save many games. So to sit here and probably think, oh well, this game's dying. It's not dying as such. It's more to the fact that less people play it, obviously, over the years. But it's mostly because the people that all love the game are all on different things. There's no end of times that people come into my streams and sit here and say, Oh, what are you on? And I'm like, oh <laughs> yes. The PlayStation. And they go, ah oh, damn it, I'm on my Xbox, bro. Um well I can't help that, but as a community, we can. Why don't we aim, instead of the game was just save God of Warfare 2, the issues that don't really count to anything, why don't we push to try and get crossplay? That'd be the best thing you'd ever want. Crossplay would save everyone. I'll tell you that now. You want crossplay? I could play with everyone. I could play with literally about 50% of my stream if I had crossplay. It's just facts. Crossplay would save a lot of things. So, like I, like I said, save the game all you want. I'm with it. I'm all for it. I love the game as much as you do as well. But my point is, if you want to aim for anything, it would be cross-platform or a new game with cross-platform. So, two for one. Uh, but as I think the best thing we could do is, right now is come as a community. Probably make a big old community discord or something and play like that. And like I said, aim for cross-play. Cross-play will save everything. Uh, it's been your boy, Brock Otron. Like I said, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe if you're new. Uh, and if you want to stay up to date, please consider pressing the bell. It's been a pleasure and peace.